All right, guys, a bit of a detour. We just saw a sign that says Lagoon Track. Our stream is going to take us to this uh, now big lagoon there is out at the Southport. So we'll give it a go. Like, new car, we haven't got a winch or anything, so hopefully it's all right. Looks pretty good, straightforward. But yeah, let's go check it out. G'day everyone, I hope you're well. My name is Elvin Powell, you're watching Adventuring Pals. We are an Aussie family with young kids working and traveling our way around Australia in a seemingly endless but epic road trip. Welcome to our channel and thank you for clicking on this video. All right, first time this car is going into proper four high locks out of diff. Just be sure, <laughs> really. Uh, the sign there says it's a medium to hard rated track we're just gonna go in. If something looks a bit too gnarly, we'll back away. No dramas, hey, no pressure for us. Like I said, by ourselves, we've got no winch. So, we've got a diff lock, but hey, back to diff lock. Never had a diff lock in my life, so let's see what it's all about. Let's go. guys this thing's actually got like terrain mode and stuff and it's got downhill descent so i'm going to test it out for the first time off road just press the button and i think that's it yeah lights come on it's holding me up all right now i don't know how it works i don't know if it's just using an extra engine brake of applying the brakes or not i think it's actually applying the brakes for me which is it's okay not ideal because it's still going to get the brakes hot but at least it's very controlled going down here, right? It's, it's not that steep, but it's, yeah, see, it feels very controlled. It feels a bit more controlled than my MN would have felt like just using first gear. It feels a bit slower than that which is good but I'll on the next one I'll try uh, just using first gear and see what the difference is like take that off now Thank you. 
Guys, check that out behind us. South Pod Lagoon. It's beautiful, beautiful day today. This place is amazing, hey. Lots of campsites close by. Facilities here to launch a little tinny or canoe or kayak. Man, there's toilets up there too. Great place to camp, hey, if you're looking for something to do around Southport. This little lagoon here. I think it goes into the ocean. I'm not 100 percent sure. I have to look in the maps for that. But yeah, it's just beautiful, stunning. And we're blessed with a beautiful day today. We just did that little lagoon drive down to see the Southport Lagoon. Yeah, it was pretty good, hey. Even though the road is graded as a medium to hard, there's no drama. We're just in a standard Triton. Yeah, it was easy enough. A uh, little bit rock and rolly at places, but apart from that, it's good. And it's definitely worth the drive, hey. I don't think it's not exactly sure, but didn't even feel like 10Ks. And yeah, it's definitely worth it. Beautiful, beautiful lagoon like you would have seen, hey. And, you know, first time getting this thing off-road. 1200 k's under it getting it off road and it's done really well i'm really happy with how it performs off road even with the standard suspension we've got a little bit of weight in the back in the canopy but she goes all right i tried out a few different modes and all that um obviously nothing too serious to really test it out but no it was good pretty happy with it hey all right off to the next place i think we're gonna go have a little barbecue picnic or cook up some sausages somewhere and go for another bit of a walk but yeah, we'll catch you in the next spot. Thank you for taking your time to watch our video. If you got some enjoyment or value out of it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. We'll catch you on the next one.